Hello, welcome to this video where we'll be covering the data quality rules transformation. Uh, the data quality rules transformation is a record transformation, which means that uh, the entire record need not flow through it, just part of it, as we have here, just one field is flowing through it. Uh, what it does is that it stamps an error message onto the record. So for example, if I preview the data coming in here, you can see that for the salary flag coming from the, the source, uh, if the value is true, I'm determining that this error, this record, is erroneous. And through some uh, custom logic that I defined in the uh, component itself. So looking at this uh, this data set, you can see wherever it's true, I have a little red exclamation point. And if I hover my mouse over it, you can see salaried employees are not uh, eligible for overtime. Uh, this error message was also provided by myself and and edited in the component as well. So what happens is is that if an error is attached to the record, it becomes part of the record metadata, not part of the actual data. So uh, as long as this field is traveling along with the record, it shows up, uh, continues to show up through the data flow. So here you can see the salary flag column continues to have that error message uh, as long as long as it's uh, part of the data set. So what happens is that since that column and thus the record is an error. Uh, this record no longer is valid to be written to a target destination. So, for example, if I look at the job progress and I look at, uh, actually, let's just go ahead and run it here. And you can see the progress here in the grid, and you can see that I ended up with five uh, erroneous records. Uh, these records were not written to the destination, and in fact, they'll show up if you have a lo uh, error log attached, they'll show up in the error log itself. So, here are all the five records that showed up uh, in the error log because they were not processed due to them being an error. And if I expand it, you can see the record, the data that I supplied to the log as well as the error message itself. So going back to here, oops, okay, you can see that um, to use the data, the salary, uh, the data quality rule transformation, well, let's open up some properties. Uh, and you can see the first thing is the layout for the data quality rules, just like everything else. Uh, in this case, I only have the one element uh, because that's the only thing I'm concerned about with the data quality rule, so I need not carry the entire record. But I could if I needed to work with more than one, uh, more than one value from the source record. So going to the next screen, uh, this is the data quality rules grid or the list, I should say, which consists of a grid up top and the editor for the particular rule on the bottom. So anytime I, I can add new rules by clicking on the Add Rule button, and by clicking on different rows in the list, you'll see that I'm editing a different rule. And I can also delete rules by clicking on this, clicking on the row, make sure it's active, and then clicking on the uh, Remove Rule. So once I have a rule highlighted here, I can edit the values in the grid, including the name of the rule here, or the description. This, will, this is what's going to show up um, uh, anytime you have a, a, an error message fail, you'll get this description. Uh, the attached rule to the field, this is uh, valuable if you're keeping statistics uh, and you want to see how many, which fields were in error. Uh, you can mark this. Uh, this is optional, by the way. And then you have the show message. This is the error message that we were seeing in the error log, and this is where I defined it. Uh, and then I have active and do not process the record if rule fails. If I uncheck this, you'll see that this now becomes a warning, and it will be written to a target. Uh, as if, but if I keep it checked, it will not be written to a target, and it'll uh, fall by the wayside, and the record will be marked as error. And I, I can deactivate certain rules if I have more than one rules, uh, and I want to have just certain one of them act active. I can use the active uh, checkbox here. Uh, and then here's the most important part of the rule, which is the expression. The expression is Stara's rules syntax, and it follows uh, pretty much the same uh, the same uh, policy as all the other expressions in Enterprise. The only thing is that it must evaluate to a boolean. So here I have the expression salaried flag is equal to false, uh, meaning that I cannot have the salary flag equal to true. If I do, that means that this is not passing this rule, and it will uh, flag the error as erroneous. Uh, I can also edit the rule in the expression editor, as always. And, uh, I, and once I click OK, 
I have that rule uh, as being part of my process before it uh, enters the target uh, transformation, the, the target destination. Um, so as you can see also, the going back to the layout, you can see that the layout is a flat layout. So if I open the properties again, you can see I do not have the hierarchical tree. So the layout must be flat. Uh, okay. So also, so this is a simple example of a uh, data quality rule being used in a, a data flow. Uh, I can also, uh, and you remember if I mentioned earlier where the the the, the error message is part of the metadata, meaning it's not actually part of the data. Well, I can actually make it part of the data by using this data quality mode here. So if I click on this, you can see that I get this extra node here at the bottom of every layout, and that is the messages uh, node in the tree. So if I expand the messages node here, you can see that I get uh, some some of the metadata that this component is writing to actually can now map from that metadata as well as you know error counts, warning counts, the actual message uh, that's, that's, that are accumulating. This is actually a concatenation of all the messages and I, I can also go into that collection of messages because for every single error that is marked by this component it will add to the collection of messages and here you can see if, uh, if the message is, what kind of message it is, what the quali data quality rule, this is where the description comes in, uh, where the action, where it failed, uh, and what element name, and here's of course the message type, which would be an error in our case. So to, you can actually use this information to make decisions further on in your data flow. So for example, I'm going to open up another example here where I have uh, a data set coming from an Excel worksheet going through a rule and then because I'm using the messages node here and I'm going to show you where I'm using the message text as well as the error count to map into a route transformation. So opening up this route transformation you can see where um, I have part of the data set now, part of the, the layout, uh, error count and message text and this is coming directly from that messages node once we clicked on the data quality rules mode. So now I can use this data to route records and, and so you can see here where I have an erroneous node and I have a you know all records that are not erroneous and if I and if you see how I did that you can see again I have the error, error count and message text as part of my data now and if I look at my expression I'm saying okay anytime the error count is greater than zero uh, you will you will follow the route erroneous and uh, you see that I have my default uh, being written to uh, a delimited file and any erroneous records are being cast aside but written and but logged actually uh, to an Excel workbooks uh, destination. So this is very valuable if you need to do your own custom logging. Uh, let's say for example for every error record you want to store that in a database table somewhere. You can do that with this uh, router in conjunction with the error message and uh, custom user-defined logic to, to flag an error. So if I preview the record data set here, you can see that I have these records uh, which were all flagged as erroneous being written to an Excel sheet. Uh, and this is a pretty good usage of uh, the, the message node along with the custom uh, data quality rules. Uh, and that's pretty much how you use the uh, data quality rules transformation. Thank you very much.